I'm going to try my best with this one because for some reason the format of this page is completely broken. Uh, show us your handwriting. Demand North Korea officials after graffiti appears calling Kim Jong Un a son of a bitch. Whoever did that is one of the bravest people. <laughs> like, Jesus. Doing that in North Korea. In North Korea. Fucking hell. North Korean officials are demanding handwriting samples from thousands of Pyongyang residents after graffiti, graffiti appeared insulting Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un, a rare sign of discontent among the elite in the capital. Now, that is... Good God damn. <laughs> that is, has that ever even happened before in North Korea? Who is this, who is this Jason Bourne? person like the message kim jong-un you son of a bitch the, pe the people are starving to death because of you was daubed on the wall of an apartment in the relatively upmarket pyeongchang district on december 27 22nd according to the daily nk news site and it's kind of interesting that they are actually reporting on it usually the media would just go like north korean media would just go whoop and pretend that this never happened but they're actually like reporting on it what the hell was all this bloody... This page is so bloody bad. I hate it. Uh, at the time, a key meeting of the ruling Workers' Party of Korea was being held. Local authorities were quick to respond, cordoning off the area and erasing the message, but not before some people reported it to the Daily NK. Okay. And the Daily NK were able to uh, talk about it when the government wanted it covered up. That's fucking... That's unusual. Uh, operated by dissidents... Ah, right. Okay, that's why. That's why, there you go. Operated by dissidents and defectors, the Seoul-based uh, media outlet has a network of undercover citizen reporters in North Korea and China. Those are, those are some brave... Right, see, see how everyone talks about like journalism these days? The undercover citizen reporters in North Korea, they're, they're real journalists. <laughs> they're, the, these are people that could literally be put in a camp and mercilessly tortured for the rest of their lives for what they're doing. They are risking... So much suffering and agony. Like, that's their real fucking journalists. Uh, the sources said that officers had been going door-to-door -door in nearby apartment blocks and businesses to take handwriting samples and question locals about their movements on the day the message appeared. Thousands of cameras have been installed throughout the city since Kim came to power in 2011, and officers will likely also be inspecting footage from those, according to the report. A winter of discontent. The graffiti comes as the impoverished country is facing a serious food crisis amid border closures related to the COVID-19 pandemic and severe flooding in recent years. Isn't it weird how communist nations always go through famine? It's a, it's a trend that I'm noticing, but never mind that. Obviously, I'm sure capitalism or the CIA are to blame somehow. Uh, the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization has estimated North Korea is short 860,000 tonnes of produce this year alone, the equivalent to approximately 2.3 months of food. The residents are now even reporting shortages of cooking oil, Radio Free Asia reported on Monday, with prices for the limited supply that is available rising fourfold. But I thought, I thought everyone just got stuff under communism. I thought communism was a foolproof system. If the government is in charge of all the food, then why is there no food? It's so weird. Uh, by law, any criticism of the Kim family or the party is forbidden. Anyone suspected of finding fault with the regime can be accused of sedition or crimes against the state, for which the punishment is usually a lengthy spell in one of the nation's notorious camps for political prisoners. In extreme cases, it can result in a death sentence. As a result, anti-Kim graffiti is rare, and while there have been sporadic cases of slogans attacking the leadership in some of the more remote parts of North Korea, such messages are highly unusual in Pyongyang, where only the elite are permitted to live. The last known example was in March 2018, when a colonel was publicly executed after being found guilty of writing slogans on the April 24th House of Culture in central Pyongyang. Jesus Christ, uh, fucking general. Uh, but increasingly, even the capital's wealthiest are experiencing shortages of food, medicine and fuel to heat their homes during the bitter winter months, said Toshimitsu Shigemura, a professor at Tokyo's Waseda University and the author of a number of books on the Kim dynasty. 
and then uh, off that was the end of the article. Uh, to have a message such as this appear on a wall in Pyongyang will have been a shock to the authorities and to ordinary people, Mr. Shigemura told The Telegraph. I hope a lot of people saw it. I hope a lot of people saw it. And do you want to know one of the things that I hope for as well? I bet there's a bunch of people that uh, actually saw the guy do it and know who it was that did it. And every single one of them are going, sorry, officer, I was asleep. I didn't see anything. NCN, I'm sorry. I wish I wish I could be could be of more help. Glo- glory to the great leader. You know, uh, it is expected that the people there are that there are loyal because their lives lives are better than those elsewhere. So the authorities will be worried that the elite are unhappy, which I fucking hope is the case. I think a lot of people who saw the graffiti will have agreed with it, but they would have been too scared to say out loud because North Korea going to North Korea. Separately, it has emerged that a North Korean defector who redefected back home over the weekend is struggling to get by in the South. Uh, yeah, North Korean defector. <laughs> Fucking hell. The gymnast uh, reportedly climbed over the heavily fortified border fence after only a year of freedom in the democratic country. He was barely scraping a living working as a janitor in Seoul, according to the South Korean military official. Well, you know. You got out the fire and into the frying pan and decided to go back into the fire. But, yeah. Basically, like, that. that's why I'm, I'm so focused on this story. Because for something like that to happen in North Korea, that is fucking unprecedented. That is seriously unprecedented. Like, this is... This is even after generations of people being raised like in school. Like what? There's a few documentaries on there out there about uh, North Korean schools, and the shit is mental, absolutely mental. Kids are told in school that pretty much every other country, especially America, are the devil. They were sent by the devil to destroy the North Korean people, and the North Koreans are told, and the kids, little kids in school, are told that they are the master race and then they also get given like diagrams see how see how the type of things that you find on pole right you find they teach all of that stuff in class but about every other race like whites blacks everyone uh, apart from like north koreans because north koreans are the almighty glorious master race right so see that and also in every class like everyone stands up you know in every in america they pledge allegiance to the flag every day in North Korea, it's at the start of each class, they praise uh, Kim Jong-un and the eternal, you know, necrocracy leader, uh, Kim Il-sung. But it's, uh, it's honestly just absolutely mental. And even despite that level of radicalization, like mass radicalization from birth, someone still did that. That that gives me hope. That gives me hope. That that puts a smile on my face. And I hope that this, especially if it's in an elite area and the elites are the ones becoming unhappy, that, I think that's a good sign. And I, I, however, I really hope that they don't catch the guy. 